Hey, what's up? This is Philip Ellis, and I wanted to show you the paradiddle. Uh, it is by far probably my favorite rudiment, just because of the the many different um, applications that it has around the drum set, um, and just you know helping you establish just better hands. I feel like um, so yeah. So the the rudiment uh, sticking is right left right right left right left left right left right right left right left left and um so in it's eighth notes what i'm going to be doing it as um so like one two three four one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and you know, the reason I like this so much um, is I'll split it up on between the snare and the hi-hat and add a kick in there and it'll create some really cool grooves like, and I can't really show you on the pad, but I'll, I'll show you uh, in another video. But yeah, I would just recommend um, mastering this. So what I would do is, um, first of all, try to keep all of your strokes um, at exactly the same velocity. Um, so, you know, with regular eighth notes, they sound even and they sound clean. And what I would try to do um, with your paradiddle is to get them to sound like that. So focus on even strokes. Um, don't try to make it too mechanical but you know loosen up your arms and really focus on letting your wrists do the work um, once you kinda get that at a slower tempo you know bump it up a little bit and once you master that keep going you know little by little and uh, you know when you're done with that, you can start adding accents on the one. When you when you master that, uh, slow tempos eventually going up. Um, start adding accents on the and of uh, t uh, yeah the and of one. And, you know, I'm not great at that yet, but that's why I'm practicing this and why I'm showing you. Um, when you're done with that, you can add them on the actual two. And this is, you know, this is where it gets tricky. You start adding accents where it just doesn't feel natural to put them there, but it's going to make your hands um, a lot better if you practice this and master it. So that's that, and then put the the and on the two. Actually, it's on the it's on the upstroke of the double. So, and that is the basic paradiddle. And you should practice that until you master it. And feel free to check out some of the links below. This is actually um, where I learned some of this stuff. Uh, you can also learn directly from some of the great drum teachers, Mike Macalco, uh, Kobus, uh, all the people at Drumeo. So check this out.